Hello, I'm Representative Melanie Stambaugh, serving the 25th Legislative District in the Washington State House of Representatives. Throughout the coming days, I am going to provide videos uncovering facts about the case I am facing with the Washington Legislative Ethics Board. There has not been a public hearing in Washington State in the past 20 years, and I am currently on an unprecedented journey. I want you to be informed as we travel through this process together. First, what is this whole thing about? Two complaints have been filed against me. One complaint is about 14 legislative video updates shared on my Facebook page in 2015. These videos were filmed in the state capitol when I was serving during legislative session. You probably have seen these videos. In the videos, I provide details about writing bills, passing bills, education funding, budgets, and updates with what is going on in the state house. These videos were created by the state. Together, I worked with a video crew to document the work being done in the legislature. This is normal and regular legislative activity. All legislators have the opportunity to film video updates for their distribution to constituents. The complaint is not about the preparation of the videos, but claims, as the official complaint states, the videos were shared in support of her campaign for re-election to the State House of Representatives. The second complaint is about 25 photos and an additional five video updates that I shared on my Facebook page in 2015 and 2016. The complaints claim that I campaigned with these photos and videos, but nothing can be further from the truth. These videos and photos never mention my re-election. They never ask for money or show my campaign sign. These videos share strictly legislative information in a legislative fashion. Additionally, all of these videos and photos were created and shared before I even filed to run for re-election. Let's look at when these videos were shared. The first video, subject to a complaint, was shared on January 26, 2015, just two weeks after I was sworn into office. My most recent video, subject to a complaint, was shared on March 10, 2016. These were all original posts, never reshared during my campaign. I filed to run for re-election on May 16, 2016, more than two months after the last legislative update was shared. I clearly was not campaigning with these videos. So how did I acquire these videos? This case is serious, and you may be asking, did I steal, manipulate, or plagiarize these videos? No, I did not. These videos are publicly available on YouTube. I simply copied a YouTube link and pasted it into a Facebook post. And I didn't manipulate the photos. I simply legally downloaded the publicly available photos from Flickr.com and shared them on my Facebook page. The state has released these videos on YouTube and these photos on Flickr. So the public can view them and use them as public records, as stated in the Public Records Act. The Ethics Board also classifies these videos and photos as public records. Anyone can find these YouTube videos and post them on their social media accounts. Anyone can download these legislative photos on Flickr. The media does this to access legislative photos for use in news stories. In fact, one of the photos in question has been made available for legal download on my legislative page. Why can the press use publicly available photos when legislators can't? Why can the public share legislative updates, but legislators can't? We can discuss these issues in the coming days. In summary, these videos were created and shared during legislative session, not during campaign season. My intent was to educate and inform my constituents about the work we are doing in the state legislature. I am a public servant and I believe it is my responsibility to inform my community about the work I am doing on their behalf. I've received incredible feedback on these videos. People love receiving regular updates about what is going on in the state government. As Abraham Lincoln said, government is of the people, by the people, for the people. You deserve transparency, honesty, and open communication from your elected officials. I strive every day to give that to you. This case affects me, but ultimately it affects you because the Ethics Board is restricting your access to information about your government. 
The countdown continues. We are 10 days away from Washington State's first public hearing in over 20 years. The hearing will be held on Tuesday, December 13th on the Capitol campus, and I invite you to attend the hearing. Details with the time and place can be found on my Facebook page. Join me in this fight for open communication between government and the people. I will not waver in my commitment to put people before politics. Information is ethical.